Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, uh, this video is gonna be really quick. I just wanted to show something. Um, I am printing another droid head and I'm printing on the CR10 S5. We'll go look at it in a second. Um, but I'm using the Prusa Slicer 2.6 Alpha 5. They have a couple newer versions out since this. Um, this is kind of like the unreleased version of Prusa Slicer. And I got it because it had tree supports which I think are really, really cool. And I really like Prusa Slicer. I've been using it over Cura for a while. It just works way faster. It loads files faster. I, I like it a lot more. Um, but let me turn this around here. All right, so we're looking at my screen. Now, this is the, the, the droid head that I've been printing. This is the orientation. I am printing this on my CR10 S5, which is a pretty big printer, so I can print the whole head in one shot. Um, let me switch the layers. It's already been sliced. You can see I got a little bit of support material to hold this thing up, but this is what's cool. I'm going to go back down and you'll see when you print, see this little string? Anytime there's an in internal overhang, I should have mentioned too, I'm printing this like I printed those droid legs a few weeks ago where they're completely hollow. One wall, um, one external wall. So they're print really fast, very low material. But you'll see when it gets to an overhang like this, where you would typically have some infill, it just prints a couple strings just to get that started. So when you get closer to the top, we'll see a bunch of them come up. See those little strings? And instead of having infill, it just makes a little bridge that goes across and it supports any parts that are going to be kind of floating. So these little inset areas and so forth, it just gives a little support for those without... Um, without being in a, really in the way. Sorry, my phone just rang. Um, so you see it, do, 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 do. Now, uh, really cool, because it prints really fast. I can print basically two of these heads with one roll of filament, um, and the print time is 15 hours, 54 minutes. So let's go look at the one downstairs. All right, I'm down in the shop here. Let's turn this around so we can have a look. So here's the part in real life you can see how it makes the little bridges and inside you can see like anything that sticks out on the interior that would just fall in is supported by just a few little strands of filament instead of a big ton of infill that wastes lots and lots of material so this prints way faster i did slow this down a little bit as it got closer to the top i just want the detail to be a little nicer so it's going to take a little longer but um i mean you can see how that is these are bit of flush cutters and you'll basically be able to snip that stuff out no problem so so yeah so hopefully that's useful if you guys are using cura um i don't use cura anymore because uh prusa slicer has been great but this new prusa slicer 2.6 uh you have to dig around on the prusa slicer page to find it but i'll put a link to the latest version in the description to this video so you can check it out if you're interested. Um, but hopefully it's useful to some of you. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!